Don't hate me. Don't hate me. This one's a little different. Don't hate me. It's not a Euro car, I know. It's not my favorite car. It's a Ford Mustang with a four cylinder engine. But we're gonna be putting an old downpipe in it, exhaust, an intake. See if I like this thing anymore after I'm done with it. Color's cool. Interior's a little funky. Guy's got lots of green and purple going on, but hey. They can't all be BMWs, people. They can't all be BMWs. So let's get crack a lack and let me plug the L GoPro in before it dies. And uh, let's see how we do with this one. So we're going to start by removing the front bumper. Bunch of clips, screws. We've got a front uh, mount intercooler going in this thing too. So uh, front mount, full exhaust, and a Roush intake. So I'm gonna get cracking on the bumper. We're gonna give you a quick rundown on uh, little tips and tricks and see what I find. I'd taken one of these Mustang bumpers off before. It wasn't too bad. Pretty standard procedure. So let's get cracking. Okay, a couple 10 mil nuts up here uh, with some pop clips. You can actually remove these brackets all together. Pretty easy. Uh, underneath, instead of undoing it here, we're just gonna take this whole cover off with the bumper, a couple screws in the back, couple clips. We're just gonna go upstairs, remove the clips upstairs, and uh, bumper should be coming off. Make sure you guys put your bumper in a safe place. Now we are going to work on removing the active shutter system so it looks like you've got an 8 mil bolt here, you've got some plugs, it looks like it kind of uh, clips into here. And what else we got holding this thing on? Oh, so up here you've got a couple more push tabs, pretty flimsy. Crimson little thing. I think this thing's been in a front end accident because some of the clips and bolts are just not matching. So we're going to remove that, uh, unplug it, and then we'll have a little bit more access and at least be able to see the front mount here. So if we go over to my box, this is the unit that's going in. Bunch of uh, charge pipes, hose connectors bunch of clamps there so this is part number 15k WBK and my other box two boxes for the front mount uh, 15k WBK same part number I guess oh actually box one of two so One little plug back here for the uh, active shutters. We're gonna remove this uh, lower radiator crossbar, four eight millimeter bolts there. Spin those guys out. pile of bolts already. This by our active shutters. Ok, 
Okay, so we remove the two uh, upper rad mounts here. Look like this, a couple 10 mils. Take those guys off. Uh, we removed the 10 mil for the front mount right here, lower left side. And now we are going to remove the two uh, radiator, radiator shroud plastics here. So it looks like there's a couple uh, push pins right there. Should be nothing to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the charge pipes, seven millimeter clamps, both sides. Uh, take a look back there. You can see that one there on the driver's side. We are going to also uh, Unscrew it from the throttle body here and we're going to be actually changing that pipe. It's part of the kit uh, So you can just remove it right here and you can pull this charge pipe out right now On the passenger side, we are just going to pull it away from the front mount and uh, we should be ready to pull it out Parts removed. So that's our new piece versus our old piece. Look at the size difference. Uh, much heavier, much more quality feeling piece for sure. And that's why we're here. So we're gonna just transfer our map sensor over. We're gonna reuse the factory screw. Just goes in here. Transfer that guy over. I lied to you guys, it does not reuse the factory bolt. The kit comes with a new 10 millimeter bolt and a new O-ring. So, oh God, don't drop in the camera. As you can see, it's got an O-ring on there. We're gonna change that guy, put it back in, bolt it in. Okay guys, so we're ready to put our intercooler up into place. As you can see, this one basically reuses the same setup that the factory did. Uh, I know on the Cobb intercoolers, they uh, are secured a little differently. This basically replicates the factory one. Again, this is a Mishimoto. So let's get it in there. Let's see what it looks like. Slipped right in, fits great. Put our 10 millimeter bolt in on the left corner. We can go ahead and plug our map sensor back in. Carry on. Walk over, we unbag some of these parts. Things sure look nice when they're new, eh? Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, on the passenger side, you guys are gonna remove these two clamps. We're gonna be replacing this pipe with the blow-off valve on it. We're gonna remove this hose clamp for our breather. Uh, looks like there's one clip for a wiring harness here. We're gonna remove that. We've got the driver's side just loosely put together, no clamps on or anything. Uh, I suggest that you guys do that till you have it all fitting and sitting perfect before you clamp everything down so that you've got a little bit of movement uh, at this time. Sometimes if you're having trouble turning these uh, charge pipes in the clamps, you can use a little bit of glass cleaner as a little bit of lubricant. Okay guys, after you, after wrestling the passenger side out, I'm gonna transfer our blow off valve and our crankcase breather over. And then we can start putting this thing in the vehicle. All right, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good guys, it's looking pretty good. So the next part of this puzzle uh, we've got our Roush intake for this thing. So before we connect our crankcase breather to our factory intake, that would be a mistake because I'm assuming all of this is going to be replaced. I got a big box over there, so let's go check the big box, see what kind of goodies are in there. And then uh, after the intake, we will leave the exhaust for last. Okay guys, so we're starting to uh, clamp up some of these charge pipes sitting properly. As you can see, we're working on the uh, air box too, or the 
uh, Roush intake. So we've already removed uh, the factory air box. One bolt holding it on, very straightforward. So after we get uh, these charge pipes fully secured, uh, we're gonna drop that air box in. Uh, we're gonna finish this air box install and we're gonna move down to the exhaust. Uh, so far it's been honestly super nice job. Uh, pretty sweet, so yeah. Super easy kit guys, about an hour to put that intake in. Uh, we're just gonna clamp up that side. We haven't tightened up the turbocharger side there. We're gonna hook up our crankcase vent, which we didn't yet. Airbox is assembled. Swapped our sensor from the factory one. <clears throat> As you can see, nice clean little setup. Reuses the uh, factory bolt to hold that airbox in. Nothing to it. So yeah, we'll uh, finish up this crankcase vent, put that clamp on. We're gonna get the bumper back on and jump on this exhaust. Ready to put the bumper on. Stairs. It started on the exhaust. Wow, this is gross. 319, pretty nasty. Let's rip it out. Okay, guys, so you've got an oxygen sensor plug, right hand side of the transmission. No big deal. We drop this uh, one mount here, 213s, bolts up to the uh, transmission there. Right there, another 213s. Looks pretty straightforward. Uh, we are not gonna cut this yet. We probably don't have to. That's all one. Couple hangers. Huh. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just not sure how I'm gonna remove this all in one piece. Maybe it is better to cut this and remove this in two sections. That's what we're going to do because it's going to be too heavy and too long. Okay guys, we heated up those two uh, downpipe nuts up there with the torch because this exhaust is a little rusty. Separated this clamp here. We're not going to be reusing that. We'll drop that front section, work on the back, and then uh, let's open up our box. Okay, downpipe is dropped. Two 15 millimeter nuts. You got uh, two plugs for your up and downstream no oxygen sensor. One is up there. You can kind of see it's between those two heater hoses. Sort of red, maroon color you can see. Uh, second plug right here, side of the transmission I think we showed you guys. So now we're just gonna move on to the rear section. So it looks like nothing really holds this part of it. We've got two hangers here that we can actually unbolt and if we want the rear hangers also bolt on so let's go ahead and do that and then get cracking okay back sections out very easy moving on to the downpipe so we've got our factory downpipe right here. We've got our new downpipe right here. We are going to transfer some oxygen sensors. Then we're going to bolt it back. We're going to reuse this gasket. So it's like this in there. Just like that. And we're going to reuse the factory bracket that bolts onto the transmission. At which time we will start piecing the rest of it together. Speaking of the rest of it, let's take a walk down to the wild side. So this is the rest of our pieces. Let me give you guys some part numbers after. And we got some clamps here. And these are exhaust tips. Okay.
Oh, up at the flange, the nuts are just loose. Throw our bracket on, assemble the rest. Just like the top side, we can put our clamps in place. I wouldn't tighten anything fully up till we get like our tips on there and we can fully align this whole thing. It's hot out there, hot out there. Check it out. That's a pretty easy exhaust to put up, guys. Uh, wow. American cars, real easy. Make uh, the Euro cars look bad. Just joking, we love our Euro cars around here. That was an easy exhaust though. Really, uh, reusing all the factory hangers. Nice little uh, clamp setup. Nice little mufflers. I'm sure this uh, thing's gonna be a little noisy. But uh, it's probably what this guy wants. So, that's it, that's all, mate. We're going to uh, put this old girl down and uh, button up a few more things on the bumper, mate. And that'll be on, carry on. Two beautiful degrees. I love the heat. I love the summer. Can't get enough of it. You'll never find me complaining about the heat. That's for damn sure. Because it gets cold where I live. So it's all together. Don't forget to put these nice little stickers on for your customer. They will appreciate those. Um, that was a pretty straightforward, uh, pretty straightforward install. The car is really loud now. Actually, the blow-off valve noises are great. Uh, the intake kit, pretty nice little kit, uh, Roush kit, so they make some quality stuff. Looks really nice in here. Everything looks good. Uh, we ran the car, there's no engine lights, everything's plugged back in, oxygen sensors are swapped over, plugged back in, everything is hunky dory. So, the exhaust is on, the only thing we're waiting for is, uh, the step clamp, we had to cut off the factory exhaust. It was too rusty, so I've got one coming in the morning. Let's go under there, put a step clamp on, and uh, she's out the door. So, another job well done.